There's an excellent article in the Wall Street Journal today written by Madeline Kearns, which profiles a young woman by the name of Selena Sewell, or S I want to say Sewell, S-O-U-L-E. That's a Sewell, right? Not Sewell. Selena is 16 years old, and she, uh, you know, I, she truly is an example of courage and female empowerment. Turning the, the, the sarcasm button off for a minute. This is not sarcasm. This really is an example of courage and female empowerment, a real example, um, much more so than certain attention-craving female soccer stars. Here we have a girl who's very courageous, an athlete. Um, she has filed a civil rights complaint under Title IX over Connecticut's insane and sexist policy of allowing biological males to compete against girls in high school sports. Selena is a track star. Um, at a school in Connecticut, and girls track and field has been particularly hard hit by the gender madness that's infecting the state and the country as a whole. Two male athletes, and we've talked about this in the past, two male athletes uh, have for the last two years been dominating girls track and field in the state, uh, scooping up all the medals, while the girls who have worked for years to earn these medals are deprived. They have no chance, they have no shot, because they lack the biological advantages that these males possess. It's just as simple as that. And, you know, I ran track and field when I was, I ran male track and field, you know, where I belonged when I was in high school. And um, it is, uh, you know, you only get four years to, to either win all the medals you can and achieve what you want to achieve or to impress the college scouts and be able to go on to college and do it. So it's only four years you have to do it. And uh, imagine you finally you get into high school, you're, you're running varsity track, and uh, you've been training for this, and you're very good. You're, you're better than almost all the other girls out there. Uh, and then two men show up and take all that. No, they don't just take the glory and, and, and everything, although they do take that as well, but they take the, they take the medals. They take the actual accomplishment itself. I mean, think about how horrible that is. And yeah, you know, now, if you're a girl racing in a, you know, doing the 800 meter race and there are two dudes in the race too, and you come in third and the two dudes come in one and two, you know that you really won. Okay. Those two guys are cheating. Their medals don't count. Uh, you, you know, you really won, but technically on paper, you didn't technically on paper, they took the medals. So even though you know it and everyone else knows it, it doesn't really technically count. And that's, that's a horrible thing. Two sentences from the Wall Street Journal article, I think, sum up the situation. Um, it says, the results speak for themselves. Listen to this. Since Connecticut's athletic conference enacted its liberal gender identity policy, two men have won 15 women's state championships, titles that were held by 10 different Connecticut girls the previous year. 15 so this is not, again, this is not just some, uh, you know, issue that's being invented by conservatives. This is actually happening. They took 15 state championship titles from the girls. And if you caught that, th th these were titles that were held by 10 different girls in the past. So in the past, you'd have multiple g girls winning these various different events. And that's usually how it goes. That, that's how it goes in the men's field, too. I mean, you're, you're not, you, in the men's field, you're not going to usually have two guys taking 15 state championships in two years uh, because you, you're not going to be able to dominate that many events. Like, either you're, you're middle distance, you're distance, you're a sprinter. Maybe there's a little bit of crossover, but probably whoever wins the 100 isn't going to win the 800. That's if you're in where, if, if you are where you belong and you have real competition. But this just shows what a gap, what a disparity there is where these guys can waltz in and they can win events that uh, they've never even raced before. They just walk in there, little training, little practice, probably ate a cheeseburger, you know, earlier in the day and they could just, and they can win the race, no problem. It, it, just because they have advantages, they, they physically, they have things going for them that the girls don't. I have, I don't have the, the numbers in front of me right now, but I've gone through this before. I've written about it. You can go find what I've written on it. Um, I've gone and looked to compare the, these two guys, the times that they're winning with against the girls. 
comparing those times against the boys. And what you find is that um, the times that give them first place finishes against the girls and state championships against the girls, against the guys, they wouldn't even place. They wouldn't even be on the track. We're talking about, okay, this time, whatever it is in the 100 meter, that's going to get you first place against the girls. Against the guys, it puts you in like 20th place. That is how wide this gap is. That these boys, if they were where they belong, they wouldn't have any medals. None. Because they're slow, actually, by a boy's standard. Against the girls, they have 15 medals. This is great. But fortunately, Selena Sewell is uh, standing up. She's so far, from what I read, the only girl who has put her name on this complaint publicly. But she's certainly not the only girl who feels this way. I mean, I'm sure they all do. But they, they, they feel that they can't come out and say it because they're going to be attacked. They're going to suffer consequences. And it's true. They will be attacked and they will suffer consequences. That's how crazy this is. This is, these are opportunities being stolen from girls. And on top of that, if the girls speak up, they will be shouted down and told to shut up. So you want sexism, you want misogyny, you want opportunities being taken from women, you, you, want, all, you want examples of all that stuff, here it is.